Today we are looking at a somewhat hidden feature inside of Unreal Engine that has been a game changer for me when building environments for virtual production. Welcome to Virtual Production Insider. I'm your host, David Stapp. And today we are looking at a feature called the Preview Mesh inside of Unreal Engine. This is something that I didn't know about at first in Unreal Engine, but it's basically a built-in tool that you can quickly access any static mesh in your editor by just hitting a key on your keyboard. And you might be thinking, how is this useful? Well, it's really great when you're in the environment building process and you want to quickly be able to reference a certain static mesh, whether that be a mannequin for human scale or something like a vehicle or some other kind of hero actor that you're constantly needing to reference when you're building your world, it's a really great way to get a quick look and reference of your object without slowing you down. All right, so let's hop into Unreal Engine so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Whenever you're building worlds inside of Unreal Engine, you can hit the backslash key, which is the key right underneath the backspace key, and this will bring up your preview mesh wherever your cursor is in your editor. And you can see the default mesh is actually this little color calibrator icon here. This is used for visual effects purposes, but we want to change this to be something else that's more useful to us, right? And one thing to note is the preview mesh only works with static meshes. You can't use a skeletal mesh with it. So if you're wanting to use something like the Unreal Mannequin, you'll need to export it out of Unreal Engine and then re-export it back in as just a regular static static mesh so that you can use that for reference. So in order to change our preview mesh, we need to come up here to edit, editor preferences, and we need to type in the search preview mesh. And then you'll see right here, preview mesh, and you can see it's got the color calibrator right here. And all you have to do at that point is you can either drop down here, search for your mesh, or you can hop over to your content browser, highlight the icon and hit your arrow key right here. This feature was super helpful when I was creating environments for a shoot with a big name car company that rhymes with Mercedes Men's. So I assume you know who I'm talking about, Honda. And while I can't show the environments I created for that, we can at least use the same preview mesh that I used and show you how it was useful. So I found a car model on Sketchfab that was very close to the car they were wanting to use in the commercial. And I brought that in as a static mesh and assigned it to the preview mesh right here. Then once I switch back to my editor here, all I've got to do is hit the backslash key, and now I've got this really great quick reference of the car and how it looks in the environment, how it's playing with reflections, how it's playing with lighting. So I can quickly just jump around my scene here and I can easily just throw my car in here and see, okay, that's how it's playing with the spotlight here. I can jump over here and see how is it playing with the sky reflections. Say you have a ceiling topper for your LED wall. And to me, this is quicker than actually bringing the model in and moving it around the scene because then I don't have to go and find where it is, move it to a new location, and then move it back out of the way. When you're building worlds, it's really nice to just keep moving, get a really quick look, quick reference, and then it's gone. It's out of your way so you can continue building. Now, once you get further along in the process of your environment builds, it is going to make sense to bring the model in permanently into the scene so that you can start creating pre-vis stills and things like that. But while you're still early in the world building process, the preview mesh is a really great way to just get a quick look at how your hero object is playing in your scene. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the episode. I know this one was kind of short and sweet, but I hope you got some good, useful information out of it. And hey, if you liked the video, please leave a like. And hey, comment down below with another kind of somewhat unknown feature in Unreal Engine that you use all the time. I'm always looking for more ways to speed up my workflow. And of course, if you haven't already, feel free to join our Discord server. This is where you can surround yourself with other people in the virtual production community. Again, my name is David Stapp with Virtual Production Insider, and we'll see you next time. Oh,